S is for sun, T is for toad, U is for under, V is for vase, W is for whale, X is for x-ray, Y... This is Sean. In the summer before grade one, Sean was quiet and withdrawn. He was suffering stomach aches. He was nervous and shared many times that he was not looking forward to going back to school. His mother, Carolyn, didn't know what was happening, and she was very worried about him. The answer came three weeks into the school year. Sean was struggling learning how to read, and it was affecting everything in his life. He'd been afraid that if his teacher found out he couldn't read, he'd be sent back to kindergarten and away from his friends. Sean was lucky, though. They caught his reading struggles at just the right time. You see, by the end of grade three, 74% of struggling readers won't ever catch up and are four times more likely to drop out of high school. Many people don't know that one in four Canadian children are just like Sean and struggle learning to read. We must catch them early before they get discouraged and when the greatest impact is possible. Up to grade three, they are learning to read. In grade three, they are reading to learn. What happens if we don't learn to read as a young child? Canadians who struggle with literacy are twice as likely to be un unemployed. And of all Canadians, 46% with the lowest literacy live in low-income households. And of those involved in the Canadian justice system, 79% of them didn't finish high school. Strong Start helps children avoid these outcomes by helping them learn to read. Children in the program receive one-on-one -on -one targeted attention from a caring, trained volunteer coach. They have fun playing games and activities that were designed by experts and help children build the foundational skills they need to be able to read. But it's not just their reading skills. They build their overall confidence and belief in what they can do. The program is free to families and occurs during the child's school day so there's no extra transportation or special arrangements needed. And we measure our results. And for over 20 years, we've consistently found that 95% of the children achieve su substantial gains in their literacy skills. And to date, nearly 57,000 children have benefited from Strong Start support. If it takes a village to raise a child, here's what you can do. For $10 a month, you can help one child learn to read. For 10 hours of your time, you could be that caring volunteer. And of course, you're welcome to do both. And reading doesn't just help with learning. It's essential for many of our life skills, and it's a child's human right. Remember Sean and his mom, Carolyn? Well, in grade one, Sean was selected for Strong Start by his teacher and he was paired with his volunteer coach, Mrs. Shirey. And twice a week for 10 weeks, they played games and he practiced his letters and his sounds and his confidence grew. And I can't became I can. One night, seven weeks into the program, Sean had his breakthrough. He and his mom were playing a DS game and the prompt came up on the screen. And that night, Sean read the prompt and they both gasped. And Carolyn said that was the step, and he never looked back. Sean went, developed a new love of learning. He went on to graduate grade eight with honors. He felt he could do anything. I asked his mom what he wanted to be when he grows up. And he said, I want to be a double Olympian and the manager of the water park at Canada's Wonderland. Tonight, I'm asking for your support to help Strong Start continue to help children learn to read. Remember, the gift of reading lasts a lifetime, and life is better if you can read. Thank you. Teach me how to read, teach me, teach me how to read. Teach me how to read, teach me, teach me how to read. Everybody's reading, every, every.